Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to create this bubbling cauldron. So let's begin. Let's dive straight in. So for the surface, I'm going to create a circle. Let's just flip it facing up. So I hit XZ here. And I'm going to add an extrusion. So make the uh, circle a child of the extrude. And then I'm going to make, um, where is it, sorry, on the extrude, offset one centimeters. Uh, caps, I'm going to turn off uh, end cap. We don't need it. And I'm going to, caps type will be regular grid. And see this tiny little arrow, click it. And if I just zoom in. We want to check quad dominant, makes it quads. And 10 centimeters actually looks quite good for now. So I'm just going to leave it there. And I'm going to create next an emitter. So basically the emitter is going to uh, drive particles upwards and it's going to affect this geometry. So I'm just going to hit R and rotate it to face up. Holding down shift snaps it to 10 degree increments. I'm going to hit E to move it down a bit, and I'm just going to make it bigger, so T, just scale it up, and let's just hit play. Okay, so we have particles interacting with the uh, cauldron surface, let's call it the soup, the soup's surface, okay. So next, let's make them interact. So I'm going to create a cloner. And let's create a sphere, which will become the bubbles. Make the sphere a child of the cloner. And in the cloner settings, we don't want grid. We want to attach it to the particle system. So mode will be uh, object. And guess what the object will be. Yep, we're going to drag the emitter into object. And now you can see we're driving bubbles upwards. The problem is the bubbles are massive, so let's go to the sphere and make the radius uh, about 19, okay, like that. Let me just switch to something a bit brighter. Okay, next up, let's make them, uh, before we tweak anything, let's just make them interact. So the next stage is to add uh, a collider deformer, sorry, collision, right here. And I'm going to make that a child of the extrude, funnily enough. And colliders, guess what the collider is going to be. So what do we want the soup surface to collide with? It's going to be the cloner. So drag and drop the cloner. And I'm just going to switch to shading. If you just hit play. Let's turn off the cloner so we don't see the bubbles. And let's turn off the emitter in the viewport let me just click away and ah so now we're we're getting a, a reaction on the surface of the soup okay good as you can see it's a little too fast let me just make this uh green so it's more uh witchy okay so it's too fast so let's go to the emitter and let's reduce uh the speed down to uh i think 80 worked quite good dependent on scale and yeah I think that's it and now we can see yeah that's a bit more uh, in tune with a, a boiling liquid okay so now let me just zoom in on one of these bubbles see uh, this one right here just before it pops I want it a bit more kind of tighter see this one here so let's just go to the collision uh, settings and in advanced, I recall uh, turning down relax um, and stretch made it a bit rounder. Uh, are we seeing an update? Okay, one of the reasons why there isn't too much detail is basically also the kind of detail on the soup surface. I mean, how much detail can it possibly get from um, this amount of subdivision? So I'm just going to go back to the extrude. 
uh, under caps, caps type regular grid. Let's just reduce this down to six centimeters. Now we're getting more detail. As much as your uh, PC can handle. Maybe it's a Mac. I don't know. Ah, see, now it's round. Um, it's kind of up to taste, to be honest, but um, yeah, I want this kind of bubbliness. And we can basically uh, also, as I mentioned, go to the collider. If we increase relax, you can see it basically just makes it softer. Maybe two. Stretch. Just stretches it. I don't, I don't want any of these too high. Uh, stiffness. Mm, high structure. High flex. Okay. So next stage is to add some kind of jiggle. Uh, onto it. So just go back to the um, modifiers and let's choose jiggle. And you can drop this right under a uh, collision. Let's just play it. As you can see, we can see some kind of ripples coming off the liquid now. So we can also play around, uh, play around with jiggle. Uh, the strength and its structure, even drag, and you can even choose how many times it kind of springs. Okay, I think four is pretty good. Iterations, actually that's, that looks quite good as well. So at this point it becomes kind of up to taste, um, art direction. So that's basically the setup for the liquid, and then it's just up to you you can like add subdivisions, just play with the settings. Um, and if you're interested in how to create the cauldron and the glow effect, um, basically all the modeling and rendering stuff, join me in part two. I'll see you later.